people who struggle more with math oftentimes end up being better at mathematics than other people. And you might say, that doesn't make any sense. The reality is, in order to learn mathematics, you have to think. If you are studying math and it's all making sense really quickly and it's all really easy, that, that's good, that's great, but it's those problems that you really have to think about, those problems that you really struggle with, those hard concepts that you spend hours thinking about. When you finally break through and understand those concepts, that's next level learning. You know, I used to have this friend in graduate school who would sit there and just grind with through the proofs. He didn't want any help. He wanted to do it all on his own. And he would pull all nighters and I would tell him, hey man, I've got the answers. You know, you can just look at my work, uh, you know, it's fine, you know? And he refused. He always forced himself to grind and it worked. You know, today he is a mathematician and he is doing well. And that's how it works, right? And that's what makes, I think, advanced math so hard because you get to these hard proof level based classes, proof based classes, and you have to think in order to learn. And it's, it's a grind that you're not used to, you know, when you go from 50 homework problems in an algebra class to 10 problems in an analysis class, there's, there's just a big difference in that. And you're not used to it. But let me just say that the struggle is worth it. You will learn. And that's the math that sticks. The math you struggle with is the math that sticks. And that's all I wanted to say in this video. Stay strong, my friends.